Hello, welcome to Walk Out with Katie. Today we're going to be using resistance and new bands. So you're going to need a chair, a yoga mat, and all your bands. So let's come to a comfortable seated position. Close your eyes for a moment. Shoulders are relaxed down from the ears. Stomach and chest proud. The alignment is knee on top of ankle, shoulders on top of hips. Now we're going to open up the eyes. Inhale your arms up above the head. Turn the palm up, exhale down. Deep, deep inhale through your nose and deep, deep exhale through your nose. We never hold our breath. Two more. Inhale. Tall and long. Exhale down. One last one. Inhale your arms up. Lengthening. Exhale down. Hands on your thighs. Bring up nice and tall. Stretch out the neck next. Use the shoulder, extend the opposite arm out. Using the same hand to guide or support the head. Stretch. Relieve any tension that you may have. We're gonna stay here for three, two, one. Slowly, slowly come back to center. Now the other side. Use the shoulder, extend the opposite arm out. Using the same hand to guide or support the head. Stretch. If there's any stiffness in your neck, just stay here for a little bit longer. No need to rush. One more breath, and we're going to slowly bring the head back to the center. And then we're going to do shoulder stretch, right arm up and across, pull back, creating resistance. Chin is away from the body, looking forward. One more breath, and we're slowly release. Same arm up, later first, place the palm behind your back. Use the other hand to bend out. We'll try some stretch. Chin up, looking forward. Those who can bind hands behind your back, go ahead, binding hands behind your back. And we're going to slowly, slowly release. Shake it out, the other side, arm up and across, pull back. Creating resistance, chin is away from the body, looking forward. Slowly release, same arm up, we lengthen first, place the palm behind your back. Use the other hand to guide the elbows. Tricep stretch. Try to bring the elbows to the back of your head. If you can bind the hands behind your back, go ahead, binding hands behind your back. Chin up, looking forward. Slowly, slowly release, shake it out. Hands on the shoulders, elbows in, elbows out. Inhale one way, exhale the other. Through the pinch of your shoulder blades. Opening up long heart chest. Improving your posture. Expanding your lung capacity. Now we're gonna go into a full circle. Try to draw the elbow close together. Oiling the shoulder joint. Don't forget to breathe. In and out through your nose. Just breathe normally. And go the other way. Reverse. Slowly, slowly release. Shake it up. Coming into a side bend, crescent moon. Inhale your arms up, palm touch. Release index finger, grow tall. Exhale back towards the right side. Chin is away from the body, looking up. Shoulders and hips are level. We're not pushing the shoulder or hips forward. Inhale center, tall and long. Exhale to the other side. Chin is away from the body, looking up. Coming into a side bend, crescent moon. Inhale your arms up, lengthening the spine. One more side, exhale to the right. My left is your right, I do mirror image. Release the bottom arm, top arm is a crescent. Chin is away from the body, looking up. See if you can bend a little bit more. Inhale, arms up, lengthening, exhale to the other side. Release the bottom arm. Top arm is a crescent moon. Chin is away from the body, looking up. Now we're gonna get ready for a twist. Inhale, center lengthen, exhale, twist. Opposite hand, up the thigh. Wrap the back arm around your waist. Keep turning, overlooking your shoulder, look at the back. Turning the neck as well. With every exhale breath, try to turn a little bit more. Slowly come back to center. Don't let go of the front hand. Inhale the other arm. Forming a crescent. Don't keep up. Slowly release. Repeat on the other side. Opposite hand, opposite thigh. 
the other arm up and over, bring it directly behind your spine or wrap it around your waist. Keep turning, overlooking your shoulder, look at the back, turning the neck as well. With every exhale breath, try to turn a little bit more. Slowly come back to center, don't let go of the front hand, inhale the other arm up. Forming a crescent, looking up. Slowly, slowly come back to center. We can get ready for a forward bend. Inhale your arms up, lengthening, exhale, head to from the hips, leading with the chest. Forward bend. Let your stomach rest on your thighs. Dangle here for a moment, lengthening the spine, stretching our lower back muscles. Let the blood go the other way for a moment. Just be mindful that head is below heart. So if you don't feel good about this, you need to slowly come out of it. One more breath, we're gonna slowly, slowly come up. Hands on waist for support. Inhale, halfway up to a flat mat. Exhale to slowly, slowly rise up to seated. Take your time, one word away at a time. After forward bend, we're gonna go back bend and counter. So place your hand on your lower back, pinkies touching. Squeeze the shoulder blade together, lifting chin up and half back. Now pushing the hips forward. Shoulders and hips are level. Chin is away from the body. Feel the pinch of your shoulder blades. Once again, opening up lung, heart, chest. Improving your posture. Stimulating thyroid gland by lifting chin up and head back. One more breath here. And then we will slowly, slowly release. Shake it up. So grab a hold of your loop bend. Always have water close by. If you need a drink, just have a sip of water. Lift the bed on your arm and we're going to go open shut. Now make sure you sit properly on your chair that you're not going to fall off. If you need back support, you can place a cushion or pillow behind your back for support. Feel the resistance, that's the most important thing. If you find that your band is getting too slack over time, then you may need to get another one. Let's do another four, three, two, one, raise your arms above your head. Small little open shut, shoulders are relaxed, chin is away from the body, looking forward. Let's do another four, three, two, and one, slowly, slowly release. Place the hand on one shoulder, doesn't matter which one, opposite hand, stabilize it, the other one with the thumb through. I'm gonna give you a side wheel. You don't have to sit sideways, I just wanna show you that I'm extending my arm all the way. And when you release, don't, let the band snap back into you. Slow and with control. Once again, sit properly. Chin is away from the body, looking forward. Continue. So as always, we listen to our body. We never push our body beyond our limits. You can take a break whenever you need. Have a sip of water and join us when you can. Let's do another four, three, two, and one. Switching side. Place the band on the other shoulder. Opposite hand, grab hold of the band. The other one, do the thumb through. And when you're ready, extend. Now you don't have to sit sideways, I'm just giving you a side view so you can see that I'm extending my arm. Make sure the band doesn't snap into you. And check your equipment regularly. The band may break through wear and tear. Let's do 
Let's do another four. Three. Two. And one, slowly, slowly release. Bring the band behind your back. One arm wrap around the waist, the other one move the thumb to extend. Adjust your posture if you find that over time you're slumping over. So the band do have different levels. For those who wish to challenge themselves, you can move up to the next weight level. As always, we listen to our body to avoid injuries. Let's do another four, three, two, and one, switching side. Grab one arm around your waist, the other hand, lift the thumb through, and extend. Let's do another four, three, two, one. Very good. Bring it behind your head. So once again, I give you a back view. Grab one arm behind your back. The other hand extend. Let's do another four, three, two, and one. Very good. Now we're going to continue with some stretches, shoulder roll, alternating shoulder roll. So one up, one down, boiling the shoulder joint. Release any tension that you may have. Know your range of motion, especially for those who have shoulder issues. We're going to go the other way, reverse. Slowly, slowly release. Shake it out. And we're going to loop the band on our thigh. Doesn't no matter which side. Just adjust your posture. Sitting up nice and tall. Palm facing up. 
Tuck the elbow, close your body, and pull it up. Relax the body, make sure you're not carrying any tension in your shoulders or anywhere. Chin is away from the body looking forward. So just continue, you don't have to look at the monitor all the time to see what I'm doing. Listen to my verbal instruction. Let's do another four, three, two, and one. Slowly release, switching side. Place it on your thigh, palm facing up, cut the elbow close to your body. Adjust your posture, pull it up. Don't forget to breathe. In and out through your nose, normally. Let's do another four, three, two, and one. Release, head to wrap, place both deep into the band. On your thighs, sitting up nice and tall, gonna open, toes are pulled out. In, toes are pronated in. So I might have to move back a little bit so you can see my feet. Open, close. Open, close. Feel the resistance. Now we strengthen the quadriceps, the big muscle on your thighs. Opening up the hip joint. Stretching the inner thighs. So another four, three, two, and one. Release. Move it down to your calf level. You can have hands on your thighs, or you can have you can hold on to the chair for support. Inhale to lift the feet up, point your toes up to the ceiling, exhale down. Now control your movement always, engage your core abdominal muscles which means squeeze your stomach in, but not squeeze it so tight that you are cramping and we're not kicking either. So control your movement. We're working the entire leg from the hip joint to your feet, strengthening the big muscle, quadricep, the calf muscles, stretching our hamstrings, ankle joints. Let's do another four, three, two, and one. Stay here. Smaller open shut. Thank you. 
make sure there's no slack in your van, feel your resistance. Let's do another four, three, feel the burn. And one last one, very good. Just gonna loop the band on one foot, doesn't matter which one. Adjust your posture, we're gonna inhale up, point the toes up to the ceiling, exhale down. So the other hand can be on the thighs so or holding on to the chair for support. So whatever you do, don't lean back. If you need back support, you can always put a pillow, a cushion behind your back for support. Perhaps walking the entire leg again. Not kicking. Control your movement. Nice and slow. No need to speed up. Continue to stretch, strengthen, and tone the muscles, maintaining muscle mass, bone dazzle as we age. Now we're at the Y leg. Feel the stretch in your inner thighs, sit up tall, point your toes up to the ceiling, and slowly bring the legs back together. So inhale up, open, close, down, knee up, extend, open, close, down. Now you don't have to open up very wide, only go to where you're comfortable. Especially those who have knee issues, hip issues, just be more mindful. Love yourself always. It's all part of wellness, self care. Let's do a few more. And one last one. Very good. Slowly, slowly come back to center. Release, switching side. Adjust your posture, sitting up nice and tall. Now we're just gonna do the leg extension first. Knee up, extend. Point your toes up to the ceiling, slowly release, continue. And your own breath and your own pace. So connecting your breath with your movement. Inhale one way, exhale the other. We never hold our breath. And if you find that your heart rate is going up too fast, you can't breathe, hyperventilating, then you need to slow down. Now we're going to add the Y leg here. Now feel the stretch in your inner thighs. Bring the legs back in center. Release. Knee up. Extend. Open. Close. Down. Continue.
You don't have to open up every line. And slowly, slowly, come back down. Release, very good. And from here, we're gonna do some stretches as well. We're gonna point and flex the ankle. So why are we doing this? We're gonna do the wrist as well. Sit up tall, point and flex. So forward, backwards, pumping blood back to your heart, helping you with circulation, energize the body. Once you have good blood circulation, you're gonna feel much better overall wellness. We are also strengthening the joint, increase flexibility, mobility in your joint. One up, one down. So a little bit of coordination here. Try your best. Get the brain busy to coordinate the movement. And then side to side, windshield wiper. Strengthening the ankle joint so it's not so easy to slip and fall and twist your ankle. Increase flexibility, mobility, reduce wildness in your ankle joint. Now we're going into a circular motion. Both wrist and ankle. Go the other way, reverse. Slowly, slowly release. Now we go and grab the long resistant band. If you want to read it. Open in half. Extend. If you can only go halfway, but don't make sure it's no slack. So try your best. Once again, opening up lung heart chest, chin is away from the body, looking forward. Let's do another four, three, two, one. Very good. Shoulder roll, release tension. Continue. Inhale to lift the arms up above the head. Make sure there's no side. Tight. Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down. Know your range of motion, especially those who have shoulder issues. So if you have shoulder injury, surgery, frozen shoulder, and so on, be mindful, especially if you cannot raise your arm up above the head. Now we're gonna add a side band as well. Make sure you sit securely on your chair, that you're not gonna fall off. Feel the length in the side of your body. Chin is away from the body. Looking up. Slowly, slowly come back to center. And then we go into a very big figure eight.
Go the other way when you're in the center position. One last round and slowly, slowly come back to center to release. Now we'll release any tension that you may have. Make a fist. Inhale, shoulders up to your knees. Make it tight, tight, tight. Oh, Sign it out to release again. Inhale, your shoulders up, creating a lot of tension. Exhale, let it go. Two more. Inhale, shoulders up. Oh, one last one. Oh, shake it out. Now we're going to continue. We're going to. Place the leg one foot in your bed. So now we have a longer one. We're going to inhale up, exhale to open, slowly come back to center, release. Knee up, extend, open, close, down. Knee up, extend, open, close, down. So now we have a longer bed, so we can extend the leg a little bit further if you'd like. Once again, know your range of motion. Never push yourself beyond the limits. Let's do a couple more. Come on, last one. Slowly, slowly release, switching side. Sit up tall. Knee up, open, close, down. Knee up, extend, open, close, down. One last one. Slowly release. Place both feet into the band. Inhale up. Now don't lean back, okay? And then we're going to slide it open. Come into a wide leg. Knee up. Extend. Open. Close. Down. Make sure you sit securely on your chair that you're not going to fall off. Let's do two more. One last one. Slowly, slowly release. Take your time. We're going to get ready to stand up. Keep all your equipment with you. If you want to be Now we're going to do some cat and cow cross. Spread all your fingers. I have a thin cushion on my chair for support. Alignment, wrist, shoulders are aligned, ankles and hips are aligned. I'm not sticking my butt out. Neutral spine. When you're ready, we're going to go into cat and cow. Inhale, drop your belly, chin up, look up into your calf. Exhale, round your back as much as you can. Pull your belly tight, looking down into a cat. So we're going to do this a few times. At your own breath, 
at your own pace. Inhale one way, exhale the other. Connecting your breath with your movement, creating spaces between vertebrates. Can a cow also help people to relieve back pain? So we're gonna do it two more times. Inhale to cow. Exhale to cat. One last one. Slowly come back to neutral, swing side to side, release tension in your wrist. Take an inhale and send an exhale to overlook the right hip, squeeze the shoulder and hip together. Inhale, send an exhale to the other side, forming a C shape in your spine. Inhale, send an exhale to the right. Hip. Inhale, center, exhale to the left. Slowly, slowly come back to neutral, swaying side to side, release tension in your wrist. So we come to arm balance, right arm and left leg out. So I'm flexing my back foot, toes down. Doesn't have to be a high kick, you can come halfway up. Back and spine in one straight line, squeeze your abs in tight. Staying here for three. Two, one, slowly, slowly release. Swing side to side. And you repeat on the other side. Opposite arm, opposite leg. Back arm, thumb to the sky, back toes down. Not rounding the back or dropping the head. Working the standing leg and ankle. Squeeze your abs in tight for three. Two, one, slowly, slowly rise up. Alternating bending your knees. And we will now work on our glutes, firming up your butt. So we're gonna grab the long bend. Place one foot on your bend. Adjust the leg. Shift the weight to the standing leg. Standing up nice and tall. We're gonna bring the other leg up. Square the hip to the front. Abs are firm. Chin is away from the body. Eyes looking down or looking forward. Squeeze your butt in tight. Working that mus big muscle called glutes. Let's do another four, three, two, and one. Slowly, slowly release. Switching side. Shift the weight to the standing leg. Square the hip to the front, holding onto your chair for support. Raise up the other leg. Squeeze your butt in tight. Small little kick. Let's do another four, three, two, and one. Slowly, slowly release. Moving on to your chair. Now we're going to place one foot in your bed, adjust the length. Shift the weight to the standing leg, holding on to your chair. We're going to inhale up, exhale down. Inhale to the side, exhale down. Inhale to the back. Exhale down. So continue now. If you can only bring it up a couple inches, that's perfectly fine. So halfway is fine. Know your range of motion. Once again, we're working the standing leg and ankle. Don't kick. Doesn't have to be a wide leg. Know your range of motion always. Don't push yourself beyond the limits. And make sure your band is nice and tight, not slack. Thank you. 
One last one. Slowly, slowly release. Switch inside. Move the chair to the other side. Clear your space so you have room. Shift the weight to the standing leg, holding on to your chair for support. Inhale up, exhale down. Coordinating your move with your breath. Doesn't have to be a high kick. Control your movement always. No need to speed up. Let's do a couple more. Let's do one last set. Slowly, slowly release, alternating, bending your knees. So one side in your waist, the other side is longer. Next side was apart, soft knees. You don't have to lock the knees. Now we'll bring this arm to the shoulder height. Halfway is fine, but make sure there's no slack in your bend. Now you don't have to lock your knees. Let's do another four, three, two, and one. Switch inside, one side shorter than the other. Hands on your waist for support, legs and hip width apart, up to the shoulder height. Halfway is fine, so know your range of motion. For those who need further challenges, you can move up to the next bend level, the next string. Let's do another four, three, two, and one. Press cross, place both feet on the bed. Cross. We're going to do single, single first. Bring it up to the shoulder height. Let's do some doubles. If you prefer to do single, go ahead. You can always modify, adapt, adjust to suit your body type and your needs. Soft knees again. Halfway, that's fine. Thank you. 
Let's do another four. Three, two, and one. Very good. Now we're going to come back. We're going to get ready for the chair pose. So we're going to get ready for this movement. Knee drop. You can add the arms when you're ready. Single, single first. Adjust the length of your bed so there's no slack. Slightly tuck the tables in to protect your back. Don't push your knee beyond your toes. You don't have to go very far down, fast to height. When you're ready, double. Feel free to do singles. Abs are firm. Continue to strengthen arms and leg muscles. Let's do another four. Three, two, and one. Very good. Now the back foot on your bed. So remove the chair side. Front foot is coming into a warrior stand. So 90 degree on top of the ankle. Bring it up and extend. Let's do another four, three, two, and one. Very good. Switching side. Coming into our warrior stand, widen your stand. Knee and cut angle, make sure the knee doesn't walk in or out. Good solid bottom foundation. And when you're ready, tuck in. Square the hip to the front. Shoulders relax down from the hips. Chin is away from the body. Eyes and feet forward. Let's do another four, three, two, and one. Very good. Slowly, slowly release. And we're done standing. So we'll come on the yoga mat. Keep all your equipment with you. Take water if you need. Place your loop band on your thigh. Come to the side of your body. The lower hand can support your head or you can lie down your arm. Front arm in front of you for support. Bend both knees, glue the feet together. We're gonna to go into open shot. Climb shout.
Let's do another four, three, two, one. Very good. Move the band further down to your calf. Flex the feet. Small little open shot. Let's do another four, three, two, and one. Very good. And make a little hammer with your fist and just pat, pat, pat around the hip joint. We never pound on the hip joint. So the meaty part of your thighs. Just relieve any tension that you may have. And we're gonna get ready for the other side. So take your time to come up and we're gonna roll to the other side. So keep your bed on your calf. Come lie down your side, front arm in front of you for support. Flex the feet, small little open shut. Feel the resistance. Let's do another four, three, two, and one. Move the band higher up to your quarter set and both knees. Glue the feet together and we're going to go open shut, clam shut. Let's do another four, three, two, and one. Slowly, slowly release. Come lie down on your back. Keep your bend on your thighs. You're going to go into the bridge pose. So take your time to set up. So knees are bent. Walk the feet close to your fingertips. And down by your side, palm facing down. Now release the spine down, keeping the neck to curve in your lower back. So the first joint of your finger can pass through. Chin to chest. Now when you're ready, press firmly on the mat. On the inhale, we're going to lift the hip high, high up. Exhale to lower down. One more to at a time. Feel free to close your eyes and listen to my verbal instruction. Engage your core abdominal muscles. Your quadricep and your glutes are firm. So in another words, Squeeze your stomach in tight. Your thighs and your butt are firm, but not to the point of cramping. Inhale one way, exhale the other. Connecting your breath with your movement. Strengthening the front abdominal muscles and the lower back muscles. Keeping your spine healthy and strong, especially if you have back pain.
chin is almost touching the chest, stimulating thyroid gland as well. So when you come up, always in the shoulder, bring the weight in the head and neck. Now let's do another four, three, two, and one. Slowly, slowly release one vertebrae at a time. Once you come all the way down with your windshield wiper, dropping the knees from one side to the other side, let it fall wherever it falls. Knees don't necessarily have to touch the mat and hips can come off, hip release. Now slowly, slowly come back to center, move the bend to your calf area. Legs up to the sky, flex the feet. Let the blood circulate back to your heart. Energize the body. Having good blood circulation will increase immunity level, improve digestion, sleep quality. Now, when you're ready, we will do some leg lift. Take a breath first. First round, lower down for seven, six, five, four, three, two. When your legs are one feet off the ground, don't drop it, then both knees. Lift the feet back up to the sky. Take a breath here. Second round, lower down for seven, six, five, four, three, two. Don't drop it, bend both knees. Lift finger legs back up to the sky. Take a breath here. Last round, lower down for seven, six, five, four, three, two. Now don't drop it, challenge yourself. Lift the head chest up on your forearm. And we're going to pass it up and down here. Make sure you're not carrying tension in your neck, shoulders, or upper back. Let's do a few more. And slowly, slowly release. Lower everything down. Once you come all the way down, you can move the bed. Going to cool down, so when releasing on the right side, wrap your hands around the right knee, draw it close to the chest or armpit, give it a good squeeze. We're massaging all this on the right side, as well as ascending corners. Staying here for four, three, two, one. And from here, we're going to transition to a spinal twist. Opposite hand, opposite thigh, right arm out shoulder height, palm facing down, turn on the right side, your neck is good. Hips automatically comes off. Stretch, strengthen, and tone the lower back muscles to support your spine. Now we're going to slowly bring everything back to the center. Straighten out the legs. Bounce it a few times. Repeat when releasing on the left side. So wrap your hands around the left knee. Draw it close to the chest or armpit. Point the toes up to the ceiling. Give it a good squeeze. As we massage organs on the left side, as well as descending colon. Anytime you feel bloated or constipated, you can try this move and see if it is gonna help you. You can do it in bed or sitting in a chair. Transition to spinal twist. Opposite hand, opposite thumb. Left arm out, shoulder height, palm facing down. Feel free to extend the top leg. Shoulder, shoulder blade, upper body still on the mat. Only the hips comes off. Turn a little bit the left side if your neck is big. One more breath here. We're going to slowly bring everything back to the center. Straighten out the legs. Bounce it a few times. Bend both knees. Raise the right arm. Roll over to the right side of the body. Coming into the fetus position. And when you're ready, use your top arm to push yourself up. And now we are back into our comfortable seated position. So we've come to the end of the workout. Thank you very much for joining me, sharing your energy with all of us, and letting me guide you through the workout. Always my pleasure.
Thank you.